Hey guys, welcome to a guide on how to get the exotic Kvostov in The Rise of Iron. It's going to be a simple guide because actually this is a pretty easy one to get. So let's get started. Now first off, there are two ways to start the quest for this. If you have the original Kvostov, all you have to do is dismantle it. And as soon as you do that, it'll give you the blueprints for it. If you just dismantle it, skip to about a minute and 20 seconds in, and uh, that'll get to the part where you're at. But if you want to keep your old Kvostov, or if you don't have one, all you have to do is go to the patrol plaguelands, and then look around for a wizard that will be called a broodmother. Just kill that, and then I'll give you a relay. Then head back to the Cosmodrone area in the plaguelands. I don't personally have footage of that because I just disassembled it but you'll pretty much just go to where you began the game at like where you originally got revived by your ghost and then there will be a relay tripwire thing where you will have to press X and then after that you can head to where the catch will be and then just kill all the enemies there and then in the back right of the catch there will be a chest where you can pick up the Kvostov part and that will begin the exotic Kvostov quest but like I said, you can skip this entirely if you just dismantle your old Kvostov, if you still have it. Once you complete one of those, go to the patrol mission on the Plaguelands again, and then head again back to the Cosmodrone area. But this time, head to Hangar 13, or the area where you got your original ship at. And then, under one of the stairways, you'll find one of the three parts for the Kvostov, where you'll just simply have to hold X or square, depending on what you're on, and just pick it up. Now once you complete this, stay in the patrol mission and then head over to where you would fight the walker in, in the strike. It's past the rocket yard and past that first set of enemies. A little warning, my footage gets all sorts of fucked up right here, I don't know why it does this. But if you're this far, it'll have a little marker indicating where the thing is if you're like running past it. And then you'll head over to the walker tank after you find the second one. Simply jump on the building and then jump off of it on the left side and then you'll find the final parts you'll need for the Kvostov. Once you've done that, head over to Felwinter's Peak, the social area, and then head over to where that robot dude, Shiro 4, would be. And simply talk to him and get the mission from him. The rest is pretty self-explanatory, just head over to the mission that he gave you and then kill the captain, you'll have to chase around for a little bit, and then it'll drop the Kvostov right there. Then you'll have a little time to talk with your ghost, and then after you do that, then head over to Shiro 4 again, and then that will give you the Kvostov. And the reason why this exotic is good is because you get to pretty much customize it exactly how you want it to be. Because you can start off with the like broken scope, like the old one, and have like a different scope later. Or you can keep it on automatic, or semi-automatic, or even burst. And then you can change up the rate of fire and all that stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. Now with my limited time of playing with it, I don't personally care for it all that much. I'll probably replace it with something better soon. But it's a level 350 light level gear, so I mean, if you're just stirring the Rise of Iron like I was, it's pretty worth it. That about wraps up the video. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed it and if you found this helpful, consider subscribing, maybe? Ah? Uh, ah? Uh. But regardless of what you do, I'll see you guys star side.